that I'm Mike Gold, the candidate for the Green Party. Politics and politicians have never been in, held in lower esteem since the 1832 Reform Act. I will exclude Stella from it because she's sitting next to me and she does come over quite well. <laughs> In 1832, we got rid of the rotten boroughs. Uh, boroughs that sent MPs to Parliament, but there was no electorate. And industrial towns like Manchester and Birmingham got MPs. Today, we have 650 constituencies. Less than 100 of them ever change hands. We have a first-past-the-post system that guarantees the perpetuation of a two-party system, and if anybody can tell the difference between the three main parties, they must be a chicken tester. <laughs> <laughs> what actually happens in elections is the parties have these focus groups. They go into the only seats that can change hands, the marginal seats. They find out what the people in the marginal seats want, they tailor their policy for the marginal seat, hence they have the same policies. And they then hope that their loyal voters from the safe seats will turn out dutifully and put their crosses on the ballot paper where they're supposed to. The Tories are fed up with being treated as lobby fodder and so are the Labour members. The truth is that we don't have a democracy in this country. We have a very rabid, centralised, corporate government. <laughs> the reality is that people are being forced to accept the least worse. Polly Toynbee, yet again, has written about holding your noses and going and voting Labour. The truth is that Polly Toynbee did more damage to the Labour Party in 1981 by joining the SDP than most people have ever managed in a lifetime. <laughs> so what do we do? The truth is, again, that the 550 safe seats are not elected by the electorate. A small caucus, either Labour or Conservative, maybe 15, maybe 20 people, will choose who the candidate is and the faithful are expected to anoint them and endorse them. There comes a point, and I think we're reaching that point with this election, where people are demanding more. And we in the Green Party are saying, vote for what you believe in. Forget about your loyalties from the past. Vote for what you believe in. The Green Party is opposed to austerity, and I'm sure we'll be coming to that shortly. The three main parties want austerity. And if you don't believe in austerity, if you don't accept the cuts, then vote for a party that is against austerity and against the cuts. If you want a national health service that is run by the public for the public without the thieving financiers digging their hands all over it and filling their grubby pockets, then do not vote for any of the three main parties that are all up to their necks in privatisation. Thank you. <laughs>